here. My name is Kathy Martin, and I'm the creator of the Pre-Algebra Teachers Middle School Math Membership. We are your one-stop shop for everything you need to teach middle school math. Today, I want to share with you how I teach fractions, decimals, and percents to my middle school math students in my classroom and give you a few really, really awesome and interactive activities that you can use inside your own classroom, whether or not you are in person, virtual, or some hybrid of the two. Now, the concept of fractions, decimals, and percents can be a little bit confusing for students because for some reason, students more often than not are super afraid of fractions. I don't get it. <laughs> um, I really try to help my students be like bold and fearless and just not afraid of fractions because there's nothing to be afraid of. So I'm going to share with you. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you so that you can see exactly how I teach this concept. Now, I've already written the fraction four fifths up here. Now, if we want to change four fifths to a decimal, um, what we want to do, I always tell my students, okay, let's try to make our denominator a 10, if it's possible. It's not always possible, okay? Now, in the, you know what? I don't want to use four fifths. I actually want to try to use, um, I don't know why that happened. Okay, I'm actually going to use three fifths. <laughs> I'm just feeling like three is a little better. Okay, so three fifths. Um, same thing. I tell my students, let's try to make our denominator into a 10 if it's possible. And like I said, it's not always possible, but we can definitely multiply our numerator and our denominator by a 2 so that our denominator equals 10, right? So whatever we multiply our denominator with, we have to multiply our numerator with. And so because in order to go from five to two, five to 10, I multiplied by two, I now have to multiply three by a two and that becomes a six. So now I have six tenths. So now I can easily make this into a decimal. I always tell my students, the numerator always goes inside of the division house. Okay, so six goes inside our um, divi divisor here, and then I'm going to add my decimal and a zero. Okay, you are going to raise the ball to the roof. Okay, our decimal, we're going to raise it to the roof. Now, how many tens go into 60? That's easy, right? Six. If I count by tens, I will count six tens when I hear 60. So boom, there is your decimal. And if you want to change your decimal to a percent, you're simply going to move your decimal two times to the right because that means you're multiplying by 100. And if I move it two times to the right, I'm going to go one, two, and I'm left with a little pothole is what I call it here, and I fill it with the zero. So that's going to get me 60%. So I get three fifths equals 0.6 or 0.60, which also equals 60%. Okay, now. If, now that is the easiest way because I can turn my denominator into a 10. Let's take a fraction like 3 fourths. And again, I will tell my students, is there a way for me to change my denominator into a 10? Does four, can I go from four to 10 in any possible way? And the answer is no, right? So because I can't do that, I am going to just simply divide. So as I said before, my numerator goes inside the division house. And I'm going to go ahead and add my decimal in a zero. And I'm going to raise the decimal to the roof. Now I ask my students, how many fours go in a 30? It doesn't go in perfect, but I can get pretty close with a seven, right? So seven, seven, if you want to add a multiplication here, sometimes I do that just to visually my students can see. Seven times four is 28, and then I subtract and I get two. I go ahead and add another zero, and now my new number is a 20. So how many fours go in a 20? Five. Five times four is 20, and no remainder. So I get 0.75. And if I want to change this to a decimal, I move it two times to the right. So my decimal now becomes 75%. So 
3 fourths equals 0.75, which also equals 75%. Your students do need to have some understanding of how to divide. That's obviously important, but I feel like this has been the easiest way for my students to really understand how to change a fraction to a decimal. As I mentioned earlier in this video, I'm going to be providing you with some really awesome resources. Now, the first resource is my fraction, decimal, and percent Skittles activity. If you are face-to-face -face and you are allowed to use candy in class, I promise you this is one of the most fun days your students will have in your class. You, I like to buy my students these small mini packs of Skittles and they each get one and they will count the pieces and then write the fraction and write the decimal and the percent. If you cannot, if you are not teaching face to face or you cannot use food or, you know, whatever your circumstance may be, the other activity that I have for you is this super fun pixel math activity. And I'm just going to move myself over here. So what this is, is it looks like a blank Google sheet right now, right? So what your students are going to do is they are going to follow the direction. So this says, write the fraction three fourths as a decimal. So I know that three fourths is going to be 0.75. So if that's correct, okay, so you notice how this blue, like this set of blue colors showed up. Okay, boom. So you're like, uh, okay, great. Well, it's going to end up being a really awesome picture at the end. Now, the next question says, write the decimal 0.56 as a percent. So 0.56 is going to be 56%. Notice how this black line came up. Okay, so if, let's just say I got it wrong, let's just say I accidentally typed in 59%. Notice how nothing happened. So your students can easily self-check this and they will end up, okay, so more of the blue shows up. So let me show you actually what it looks like at the very end. So it's going to look like this. It's a really awesome, cute Among Us character. If you don't know what Among Us is, it's really the newest fun game that my students are obsessed with. And I made a little heart because this is kind of Valentine's Day themed without really being Valentine's Day themed. <laughs> um, so if you would like to grab these activities, cl click the button below or the, or the link below, depending on how you're watching this video. And you can go ahead and grab these activities among other activities absolutely free for your middle school math classroom. Again, my name is Kathy Martin. I am the creator of the middle school pre-algebra teachers middle school math membership and i am so excited that you have watched this video thank you so much and if you have any other questions let me know feel free to leave a comment let me know i am happy to support you in any way that i can see you soon bye